Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I am here today to share with you my second design team project for Team Sparkle this month. And for this one, I am actually using a combination of digitals, uh, the sugared linen that I used on my last project, and also the love petals. And I love the way that these two can work together. And I was actually inspired by these little file folders that were in the love petals, but there is file folders in both of them. And I just thought they were so cute and I thought it would be fun to make like a, just a little file folder journal, maybe something that could even tuck into another journal, although mine ended up getting a little chunky, as they do. <laughs> but I just took the file folder and printed it on um, some cardstock, and then I actually lined the inside of it with this paper from the Sugared Linen collection that I absolutely love. And then I inked all the edges. So this one is uh, waiting for a journal. And I went ahead and finished this one. So I thought I'd show it to you. This file folder from the uh, Love Petals collection is already collaged beautifully. So I really didn't have to do a lot to the front, so I didn't. I just put some lace right here and I added a butterfly over where I attached the seam binding to tie it shut and just added this little vintage tag. And that's really all it needed. And on the back, look how cute it is. I just added that same lace and then just a little flower to cover up the uh, seam binding. And then I just tied it together with some seam binding right here too. And this is that seam binding that I dyed with the uh, I don't remember the color now. <laughs> just something velvet. I don't know, but anyway, there's that. <laughs> so uh, this, the inside of this one is also lined with that same paper from Sugared Linen. And then this little ephemera piece is from the Love Petals. Isn't it adorable? It's so cute. So I did ink the edges and sew around the edges, which I did with most of the pieces. And then I popped on a little little rose right here. And then this tag is also from Love Petals. Isn't it pretty? And I just pleated up some of this at the top. And I'm not, I don't even know what this is. I think it's like some sari, maybe. It's throughout uh, this. I actually got that from Roseanne. Um, and I love it. I love it. So I, I squished it along the top of that because I thought that was adorable and that slides right in there and these amazing snippet hearts can i just talk about these snippet hearts these are in the love petal collection and i love them so i did sew around them and i inked them up and then you just they don't really need much more than that because they're so layered i love it i absolutely love it jennifer it's so beautiful so then I just tuck in a couple of tags from the ephemera pack of Love Petals, and then I put one of the Love Petal tags um, right there. And I always leave my strings when I sew the edges. I leave the strings hanging on because I just like, I like the way it looks with strings everywhere. The more shabby, the more better. And I'm actually using some paper that I purchased from Jennifer a long time ago because sometimes in her shop she has packs of dyed papers. And actually, I think I bought, wasn't even at her store. It was on a sale on YouTube. I don't remember whose channel, but I still have some pieces. So I use those in here too. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. This is um, a tag from the Sugared Linen collection. And I just put some uh, book paper on the back of it. And then I made this little tag. Uh, this is a tag from the Love Petals collection. And I just pleated up some lace on the edge and then I clipped it on with this butterfly clip. And then I put one of these, uh, I don't know what they're called. They're in, they go with the tags in the collection, but it kind of looks like a flip over, like it would hold it um, on the page. So I thought it was cute like that. So I, that's how I did that adorable uh, this is more paper from the sugared linen collection and then I made a little pocket here this is a uh, sugared linen 
but this envelope here is from Love Petals. And I will have a link to both Sugared Linen and Love Petals below and directly to her Etsy shop so you can go check it out. And this is one of those snippet hearts again. They're so pretty. So I just pleated up some of that uh, pink sari silk behind here. I put one a, a piece of my Lace Master board I cut up and then I put one of her beautiful snippet hearts on top and popped on a bow. So, so cute. So this little envelope is from the Love Petals and inside is another piece of ephemera from the Love Petals. Well, that's the problem with having all the strings hanging on it. I glued it. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many strings I glued it all right there we go so there is a beautiful piece of ephemera and it just slides right in this cute little envelope adorable so that just goes right in here and I added some music paper and then over here I put another one of those snippet hearts made it into a pocket, popped on a little rolled, rolled rose, and then another adorable piece of ephemera from the Love Petals collection. So cute. And so that just slides right in there, and there's another uh, piece of that beautiful paper from her Etsy store. And this is uh, more paper from her shop, and I pleated up this lace right there. I just love the way that looks so cute and I made a little corner pocket here and this little envelope has some little ephemera bits in it so this is the Eiffel Tower from the sugared linens so cute and then here is another one of the snippet hearts from the love petals collection they're adorable these hearts I absolutely love them all right so those just go right in there and that tucks in there and I just put a little uh, snippet and a bow on the envelope and then oh, I created this tag which is so cute this is a tag from the love petals collection isn't it pretty I mean this tag is just beautiful so I just whooshed up some lace right here and stuck on a little uh, piece of frayed fabric and a pretty little stone I mean it's just cute this tag is so cute. So I've just got that clipped right on there with one of these Timmy clips. I don't remember what they're called. And then oh, more of the beautiful paper, a little belly band. This is from the Sugared Linens collection. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. So that just goes right in there. Just love. It's so pretty. And then this little um, label is from Sugared Linen, but the, the little words are from Love Petals, but they are actually bigger than this, but I shrunk everything down because I knew I was going to be doing a little bitty journal, so I shrunk those down. They're actually much bigger in the printable collection. And then this is more paper from Sugared Linen, and then I made this um, hidden paper clip and I used uh, a piece of my Lace Master board on that side and then one of the beautiful, beautiful snippet hearts on the other side. And I just sewed around it, inked it, and stuck a bow on it. And it's super, super cute. So, right, it's adorable. I love how it turned out. It is a little chunky monkey. I was thinking it wouldn't be this chunky and it could be something that I could slip into a regular size journal, but... I don't think that's going to happen, so I think it's going to have to be its own thing, its own little cute, like, pocket journal. But it's adorable. I love the way that it turned out. I love all the strings hanging off. It's so super cute. Now, um, I don't make a lot of journals, so it's not my skill set or in my wheelhouse, but I thought this turned out really cute, and I love it. So I'd love for you to leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And don't forget to follow all the links below to these beautiful digitals. And I look forward to designing with some more soon. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.